So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Viva Size 4. We're of course playing with the third Odyssey mod. And we are currently spreading out quite well. We're building docks here and there and everywhere. We technically just need two more, so let's build these two. And we have been have been spreading out quite nicely. We have gotten a, a claims on this region here. Which in my opinion means that I'm gonna start integrating Kilgladia. To be honest. That feels reasonable. Yep, we got our place in the Sun Castle Spell Eye. We now have reasons to attack all of these guys and force them out. We also have plenty of breathing room as well. Of course, our manpower is still struggling. But we're getting better and better. The Barbara Council is keeping us a little bit down. The bastards. Uh, next thing is gonna increase our uh, uh, limits there. Good. I will first of all give you a leader. Here you go, buddy. And then we're gonna extend these by five, and then we're gonna start doing uh, the li the light ships. We do have to dev this up, but I do want. I mean, we do have tech to take as well, so <laughs> let's wait for that. I do feel like, wait, we might have done, oh no, okay, the printing press happens first, but global trade might actually spawn with us. If we turn the, uh, the Elysian trade node into the highest valued one. I assume that currently still, yeah, you're still better. And when, oh, Venice and Genoa are definitely better. Hmm. We'll see what happens when we have everything here in our hands. There we go, you guys. We have 10 dogs. Colonial ambitions. After the great storm, the majority of our people had neither the want nor or the need to travel far beyond sight of the coast, preferring to settle farther inland or on a nearby island at most. However, the success of Pythia's voyage to Europe has shown that this is possible. That it... that i... that it is possible. Okay. If difficult to cross... The oceans once again. We must expand our colonial institutions and increase the range at which we can supply new colonies who knows what riches lie beyond the horizon. We replace the organized expedition expansion with colonial ambitions. Now colonial nations cannot be integrated. We don't have a colonial nation? <laughs> Sorry? Uh... But either way, this wants us to go into this region anyway, so we'll go into this region. With the new colonist. Colonies, ho! I'm gonna get another one here soon enough. And then things are gonna start out lovely. Ah, this is. There we go. Yoink, yoink. Better infantry. I feel like this one is gonna be it. Make us speak. The economics of a Basilius. So uh, Constantinus, the, the twelfth, is well known for ceaseless energy and working habits. There are few hours in the night. Okay. Development manufacturing for not much. Oh, fucking teasing uh, rebels. Do, do we even get to this? Pl no, no, just take the loan. Just take the loan for now. There we go. There's a revolt. I would like to beat you guys if you would be so kind. We still have these totemist zealots popping up in Teleosia. Down here. I mean, we do need to def up uh, province still for the silk. And I feel like this one's gonna be it because this one is not much better, right? I mean, we, we could wait until we integrate one of these guys, because, uh... Oh, don't tell me this... The, oh, God damn it. We have six here, but this is jungle. Yeah, maybe it makes sense that we just, just take this. This is also just a step. Yeah. Could have a better trade good. Oh well. We don't have the points at the moment anyway. 
Uh, I don't think I need this at play. Uh, or I do need it, but it's not. I would be alright with losing some. Alright, you do this one here. Another colonist! Let's go! Like a disease, we spread across the world. You guys are all not really super happy, so I'm gonna just do this one again. And we've become a great power. Actually, did we? Oh wow, our development has grown so much. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> After we've done uh, this, I think we're gonna start potentially uh, spreading out. Uh, these guys have a little bit of anger going on. Let's go over there and see what they're on about. Is this the same region? Yes, this is a Great Lakes region, so we could do war against you guys. You're only allied to... Oh, you're guaranteed by Vinland? I mean, they are fightable, but I would need a claim... I would need claims on your territory. Yeah, let's build a spine network on you. And you. We have enough advisors anyway. I mean, our money has gone down because we have uh, really established this stuff and we have plenty of colonies happening at the same time. Right, English are around here. Uh, this is part of this region, right? Yeah. So we will continue where we have claims. Makes sense. What do we have? Global Settler in Greece? Probably the smartest. Or we do the colonist. No, we do have this really cool advisor still. So let's do... Uh, the colonist. Yeah. Oh, that's a small bribe. How, do we, how much do we even have at this point? 220. Damn. And we start with 200, right? So <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Illusion rights. We gain legitimacy and prestige. We become rich as a reformer and we can do icons now. And we, the clergy reformed uh, modifier gets replaced by something that... Uh, wait, where is it? Yeah, lovely. Cool stuff. An icon. Well, while we're talking about icons, let's quickly check... If we have some more uh, uh, thingy here. Yep, we do. We've done this one. There we go. It's funny that the capital is still the one that struggles the most because of uh, past events. Now this of course slowly trickles down, but we do have something here that's really cool. And <laughs> someone more global settler in Greece. Or we could also Take the uh, Pantocrator or Saint Michael. I mean, Pantocrator is gonna probably help a lot for this one mission here. But to be honest, at the moment, this lasts 20 years. Yeah, you know what? We do need to wait for points anyway. Okay, but so the pen so some penalty is still there, but it's getting lesser and lesser. We even get a step cost. Uh, uh, Reduction now from this. Uh, what else do we have to say? These guys are still angrily. Don't you worry. I mean, the good thing is that because we're an empire, we can just spread like crazy. <laughs> Like, there's nothing stopping us. I did want to do this, but I've d I did see that we are gaining... S but slowly but surely struggling with money. We do have the most uh, heavies, so I actually don't see a reason why I should do this here. Uh, where are my others? There you are. You can do this. That's reasonable. Saying the infantry. I mean, they did, they did change some pictures. Alright, we have done this here, so I think you guys just just do what you want. I mean, I guess we could t take two people here to finish this up. And I guess soon enough we're also going to do this war here again to uh, clean this. 
Cherokee and Corvetta. None of these. I mean, I guess we're gonna go into position. Oh no, Cherokee is right here. I guess we're taking a Cherokee first because they're bigger. Yeah. Do, do, do. I did say I want to do this one first, actually. So let's quickly finish this up. I mean, we currently should also do the Conquest while we have the power cost reduction. And after we've done the rest of this territory, I think we am, I'm happy to just wait again. So, global trade power, uh, minimum autonomy in territories, and we get rework reworked Codex Justinius. Justinianus. We've inherited a traditions of justice far beyond those of the barbarian primitives that invaded our lands in the distant past. We must further uh, these traditions since they led to stability where lesser nations would have fallen. Unrest reduction, and we get administrative efficiency. Let's gain this as well. Even more settler chance, because we're not fast enough yet. Okay, so we could take away from you, we still can't take away from you. Ancestral land recognition is just too heavy. I mean, we do change the culture though, so... Maybe this is still a reasonable thing to do. Okay, but like I said, we have this one done. War. Oh. I did not start a war. Someone else started a war. And I'm just suffering from it. I did also want to integrate the Varangians. Don't forget that. Which is gonna cost another 100 uh, points. Sure. I guess the specialized stuff has sl slowed, slowed down. Uh, let's let these guys uh, go for the siege. Okay, I guess we... Right, I completely forgot we have the Greek fire. No, we do sieges. We do sieges, you guys are to shit at it. Oh, God damn it. Alright, I'm not. Screw you. Uh, this one is the only one that I'm just gonna piece out without an doing anything. Here you go, buddy. Leaf. I'm just gonna go here for the next one. Uh, we do have money, we might as well go, go for a bet. Nice. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> Kashika and Abika. Okay, just these guys. Alright. So... I mean, we should be crazy fast at sieging, so... But we also... Are, the, the, I mean, the one downside is, obviously... We are also are crazy fast at uh, triggering... Uh, <laughs> Disease outbreaks when sieging. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's, uh, it's, re it's really neat. Alright, let's just quickly stomp these guys. Go away. You're done, lovely. So. And desiege just while you add it. Lovely. So, you guys are also not part of the stuff that I, I have claims on, so I happily will just let you continue to live. You're not less... Oh, you're part of this. Okay. I see. Dinya. Sure. Keep digging into new territory. We'll take this guy, why not? <laughs> this, this is just goofy. I know what. Here you go, buddy. I could just turn you into a vessel and let you... No. I could let you spread out, but you're not spreading out. Anywhere shape. God dang it! Are you kidding me? We have a truce with each other. For, for eight years. <sighs> Alright. What a bastard. Uh, let's do this one. What do you guys want? Change religion, colonize. What area? This area. Okay. So. 
so, so, so. Everything happening quite well. Oh well, I guess we'll have to beat these guys up then. But we once again have gotten all of this territory here that we wanted. Sure. I mean, who's gonna care about this? <laughs> I don't think there's enough people around to really matter. Good. I mean, we're gonna try to stay in this region. Okay, this is literally everything this region. Okay, good, cool. Keep, continue. Uh, let's see. One form to do. Yeah, we do need to uh, own certain areas to get the highway bonus. So maybe we should have conquered these guys. The truce with these guys is gonna be particularly long now, right? I guess we could then also continue start on doing our work on here on these islands, but we'll see. We will see. We have plenty of uh, speed on our hands now. Uh, our income is not crazy. We don't have any rebellions though, so... Whoop. We do have a bunch of great work still to do. We still have this play... <sighs> Brittany has shown up. Well, okay. Brittany would be actually a fantastic... Okay, Scotland and France. <laughs> Not the most perfect place to step in. I guess... I mean, still many factories are missing. I mean, we can do some temples. Well, I guess I should have probably just... I should have just done Wild Conquest. And we can also go for the next uh, 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 size and army, right? So this is our current setup. No, four. You know what? Let's go to... F let's do it like this. Our colonist finished. I don't even know where, but... I guess we continue on. I did not realize that this is also a region that I need to have. So I, I would have taken all of this stuff then. Uh, you guys are still not quite happy. You're also not gonna get happy. Hmm. I and mean, we are looking alright with the ground land. It's not like that. So I could just beat them up. Really. The printing press pops up. This one should be, uh... Actually, we could death of our capital. Our capital is not that large. Yet. Not yet, at least. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. Hmm, that also allows would allow us to do this. I mean, we do need some more points. Of course, but... Uh, you know what? Uh, you guys are not quite happy. You can... Okay, we're gonna wait until these guys are happy. Then we're gonna start our fun activity. Just one more, then we're alright. We do also need to, like, I, I feel like there's so much ideas that I would love with this nation. <laughs> but we can't have everything, sadly enough. Alright, you guys continue. Into the wild. And we now just grow and grow and grow and grow. Five colonists are doing plenty of work. The good thing is, nobody's really gonna take over. Uh, like, I don't think anyone is gonna really uh, harm these guys. I'm somewhat sure of it. Oh, we. There's nothing else left here. Okay. So. You don't need to call me into every fucking war of yours. <laughs> Leave me be.
I wonder if they get, get like a special event when uh, things are done. I also did not even check. Do you guys have mission tree? No. I think it's time. Damn it. We're at war. <coughs> So, make sure everything is nice and dandy. Lovely. Successful company. So, nothing here. We don't need this stuff yet. There is some stuff here. So, yeah. I mean, manpower, like I said, is a bottleneck. I guess also one of the reasons why I want to get rid of Varengen Guard, so that they don't take over sieges for me, because technically, of course, it would be nicer to have vessel sieged, but with me having the Greek fire, I think I want to siege myself. <laughs> okay, we're colonizing so fast that uh, we're not really even catching up with the, 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 uh, the admin. Interesting. Okay. You guys are done. Let's do the rank and guard this time, so I don't forget it. Yeah. Yoink. Who's this? England? Sure. Pay for your fort, please. So you are the Varangan order and have like a heavy autonomy here. Siege? That's not a fort. Oh, it has a fort level because Creek Fire. I see. It technically, because it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> that's, that's so stupid. Alright, we have made these guys happy. Continue on. Uh, we do need to also, of course, be careful with the other stuff. Uh, Barbaroy. Okay. So, Rangan Guard in. The army just disappeared, sadly enough. I would have loved to actually gain that, but... I guess not. I guess it's time to... do this. Uh... I'll just take that. We also soon enough are gonna eat someone else up, actually. I just realized. Oh, lovely. I just realized that this is nearly finished. And to be honest, they have done a fantastic job. It's not like that. We have to take over some uh, stuff here. Obviously. Uh, you guys here. Let's quickly do all of this work. We also got another bunch of boats, lovely. All of you are mine. Oh, these, these are mine to begin with. <laughs> you're defending, you defend. Wait. Oh, this is my initial one. Oh, no, this is not. This is uh, heavy and transport. You join this gang. You're protecting trade, probably in the wrong place. Protect rate, da 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 da, to 3.6 in the Gulf. Okay, then we're gonna go to the Gulf. To the Gulf! To the Gulf, everybody, march! Oh, boat. <laughs> uh, you guys need to be upgraded. Okay. We should have enough. We don't. Wait a second. I think we just delete all of these guys. Yep. Alright, what is this? My liege, the Elysian Orthodox citizens of Havana have petitioned for one of the local bishops to be confirmed as patriarch for the region. They claim that near Constantinopolis is too distant for them to receive proper religious guidance and their own bishop knows their spiritual needs better than far of Elysia. Uh, they get Elysian patriarch, which... okay, but I think I'm gonna take this patriarch authority. Thank you very much. So we do have a few extra colonists colonies at the moment that we need to deal with. Let's quickly do this. Protect raid. I feel like some of these boats here probably need that as well, right? Oh no. Screw that then. You guys come together. You need some upgrades. There we go. 
All right, you, you, you. Lovely. Oh no, these guys had that. Ah ha ha ha. All right, you make landfall here to upgrade your boats, and then you can continue protecting trade in the Gulf. <coughs> Air falls ill. Oh, the air is good, right? Mm. Wait, no, we're not gonna do anything new. We're gonna take over colonies. This one. And there, okay, this perfectly is everything. To, oh, good stuff. Ahead of time for four more. Okay, well, uh, look at how good we are. But it's good news, good news that we are catching up, actually. I love it. So... No, no, yes. What are we currently working towards? We're, we're, we're colonizing uh, uh, this area here for this mission. Yes, we do own certain areas. We need to be a hegemon for this one. Oh, but this immediately un unlocks the next mission path. Okay, yeah, we don't need that right now. What is this? 500 any known uh, has a port or has a port or neighbors Alicia has embraced printing press has at least 100 opinion wait a second this means we can do this like real fast if for example Portugal just eats up that seems ridiculous and kind of completely annihilates any downsides around here I mean it, I guess it is I mean, we did want to def this. I remember that. Yeah, that actually reminds me that I did want to do this. Do we just do it then? Or do we do f wait for this? Huh. I mean, we need to just, we need to use admin. I'm not sure. I'm super happy about that idea. We can also actually get another uh, army in. Or oh, rather, update an army. I just saw that we had numbers for it. So... Do that. Okay, you have claims on me? That's good for you. I also have claims on you. What's this? No. Basilius Moctezuma Spartacon. All right, I see. It. <laughs> oh, Vinland owns something that we own. Do they? I don't see. Oh no, there, there they are. They, they. Wait, did you subjugate these guys? Hmm. Uh, do we want a war against Vinland at some point? I mean, we can't beat them, we know that already. We are still, of course, manpower, not that manpowery. I'm not sure if I need this. 500 is not worth it. With, the, with the, all of the reductions that we already have. S hmm. And that's a hundred everywhere. Oh, we could technically start with all of this stuff as well. Uh, the question is if we want that. Okay, we also slowly but surely get leaning this up here, so we need to probably find more spaces to colonize. Which means that we need to do conquest. Beat someone up. Chosen ones. Garrison troops in our capital are gradually being replaced by the best troops from the garrisons all over Alicia. While one may think this is a detriment of our frontline defenses, the rich compensation and prestigious status of our city's garrison has led to increased enlistment and motivates garrisons everywhere to train vigorously. The Emperor has officially renamed the near Constantinople uh, guards to Epilectoi, the Chosen Ones, and selected the lead of the elites as bodyguards of the royal families in his household. We get a defensiveness, garrison, and minus 50% local maintenance. 
I have not. I have yet to ever uh, touch any of these special mercenary companies, do, do I? Well, that's just me and mercenary companies, to be honest. So we have done all of this. I mean, I guess uh, the distance doesn't really matter. Let's clean this up, and then we're gonna clean up you when everything is colonized. But we do have a handful of wars done. Uh, you come over here. You come over here. But I think this is gonna take... Uh, I mean, of course we have the friendship with Portugal, but Portugal is also not really getting the stuff, so... Maybe this will take too long if I don't do it in the capital. Screw it. Big capital. So... I mean, we do have a decent reduction here. And yeah, this, this is going out uh, nicely. Okay, now we do need to wait for your orders to catch up. I want a big capital. I want a big capital. <laughs> Cherokee. You guys deal with that. Oh. I guess I was faster than these guys. Our wife has also died? Uh, are we gonna get a new dynasty soon? Because it looks like it. There we go. Printing presses present. We can remove this here. We do still have to convert you, right? And this current... Oh, of course it doesn't tell me the strength. Uh, how much do we need here? Plenty more. But it's gonna spread in this uh, area here, so I'm alright with that. Well, to be honest, then I'm just gonna punch this in. Let's also quickly do this before we end the episode. Uh, we are gonna take proof relation, double rotation. This actually might be useful. Yeah, it is actually useful because these guys uh, go up to 70 now, so let's wait until they're up there. But like always, like the Ramshan and Anigans, and I guess I'll see you guys next episode. Bye!